worship experience that shares a powerful message about trials, how we are tested, how God is with us through the trials, and how he is glorified through the trials. I want to take a moment to share with you how this program will work. On the screen or on your badges, you will see a QR code. You can scan that QR code and it will open up the GYC app. You then click on the More button, and on the More button, you will find Sabbath Afternoon Music Program. You're going to click on that, and it's going to open up a document that has the entire program. As I mentioned before, this program is meant to engage the congregation. So you are going to be participating along with those here on the stage. You'll notice that there are responsive readings. These, that means that our narrator will begin the reading, and then the congregation will read in the text that is bolded. You'll also notice that there are hymns scattered throughout the program. Our choristers here are meant to lead you, the congregation, in the singing of these hymns. So we're so excited that you're here with us, and we look forward to all of us worshiping here together. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, uh, we thank you so much for this Sabbath day. Lord, we thank you for music. We thank you for scripture. We thank you for poetry. We thank you for trials, and we thank you for who you are. Lord, we just dedicate this worship service to you. In the precious name of Jesus, amen. We are tested. The greatest want of the world is the want of men. Men who will not be bought or sold. Men who in their inmost souls are true and honest. Men who do not fear to call sin by its right name. Men whose conscience is as true to duty as the needle to the pole. Men who will stand for the right though the heavens fall.
Bless our God, you peoples. Sound his praise abroad, who keeps us in life and does not allow our feet to slip. For you have put us to the test, God. You have refined us as silver is refined. You brought us into the net. You laid an oppressive burden upon us. You made men ride over our heads. We went through fire and water, yet you brought us out into a place of abundance. Notes of praise in the hours of darkness. Notes of praise when God seems silent. In questions or pain or anger or shame. There's still a song in the night. shadows taunt you. Sing though your tears abound. Sing though your heart falls to pieces. Sing, oh sing for the morning.
so many burdened lives along the way. My load seems lighter than the most I see, and oft I wonder if I could be brave, patient, and sweet if they were laid on me. But God has never said that he would give another's grace without another's thorn. What matter, since for every day of mine sufficient grace for me comes with the morn? And though the future brings some heavier cross, I need not cloud the present with my fears. For I know the grace that is enough today will be sufficient still through the years. God is with us. Save me, God, for the waters have threatened my life. I have sunk in deep mud and there is no foothold. I have come into deep waters and a flood overthrows me. I am weary with my crying, my throat is parched, my eyes fail while I wait for my God. But as for me, my prayer is to you, Lord, at an acceptable time. God, in the greatness of your mercy, answer me with your saving truth. Rescue me from the mud and do not let me sink. May I be rescued from those who hate me and from the depths of water. May the flood of water not overflow me, nor the deep swallow me up, nor the pit close its mouth on me. Answer me, Lord, for your mercy is good. According to the greatness of your compassion, turn to me and do not hide your face from your servant, for I am in distress. Answer me quickly. Come near to my soul and redeem it. Ransom me from mine enemies.
Christ will hold me fast. Justice has been satisfied. He will hold me fast. Race with him to endless life. He will hold me fast till I remember my affliction and my wandering, the bitterness and the gall. I well remember them, and my soul is downcast within me. Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him. To the one who seeks him, it is good to wait quietly. For the salvation of the Lord, it is good for a man to bear the yoke while he is young. Let him sit alone in silence, for the Lord has laid it in him. Let him bury his face in the dust, there may yet be hope. Let him offer his cheek to one who would strike him, and let him be filled with disgrace. For no one is cast off by the Lord forever. Though he brings grief, he will show compassion so great is his unfailing love, for he does not willingly bring affliction or grief to anyone. doesn't wish for sunny days that the sky above us would never turn gray but life isn't always sunshine we have times that leave us asking why but when the clouds roll in and tears begin 
Remember what I told you? A servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If they obeyed my teaching, they will obey yours also. Do not fear what you're about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison so that you will be tested and you will have tribulation for 10 days. But be faithful unto death, and I will give you a crown of life. Blessed are those who have been persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward in heaven is great. For this same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you.
God is glorified. The Spirit of the Almighty is moving upon men's hearts, and those who respond to its influence become witnesses for God and His truth. In many places, consecrated men and women may be seen communicating to others the light that has made plain to them the way of salvation through Christ. And as they continue to let their light shine, as did those who were baptized with the Spirit on the day of Pentecost, they receive more and still more of the Spirit's power. Thus, the earth is to be lightened with the glory of God. Song when I'm weak, 
Make me strong by your word. Lead me into pastures of peace. Hold me close, safely rest in your arms. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, give my heart a song when I'm weak. Make me strong by your by To pastures of peace, oh, hold me close, safely rest in your arms. Hold me close, safely rest in your arms. Hold me close, safely rest in My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and your salvation all the day, for I do not know their limits. I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of your righteousness, of yours only. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth, and to this day I declare your wondrous works. Now also when I am old and gray-headed, O oh God, do not forsake me, for until I declare your strength to this generation, your power to everyone who is to come. Also your righteousness, O oh God, is very high. You who have done great things, O oh God, who is like you? You who have shown me great and severe troubles shall revive me again and bring me up from the depths of the earth. You shall increase my greatness and my comfort me on every side. Also with the lute, I will praise you and your faithfulness, O oh my God. To you I will sing with the harp, O oh Holy One of Israel. My lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing to you and my soul which you have redeemed. My tongue also shall talk of your righteousness all the day long. For they are confounded, for they are brought to shame, those who seek my hurt. in his hands who has numbered every grain of sand kings and nations tremble at his voice all creation rises to rejoice behold
O oh God, our help in ages past. We praise you for the promise of hope. We praise you for the promise of your faithfulness new every morning. Father, as we go out from this place, may we be ever reminded that though there be trials and though there be tests, that you will bring us through and you will have a crown of life and a crown of hope awaiting for us on that great day. Father, we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll see you at 6 p.m.